Do I have any horror stories? It depends. Horror stories about what? <laughs> about ghosts? Oh my god, you guys want ghost stories? Hmm. I mean, I'm trying to think because <clears throat> I think lots of paranormal stuff has happened to me throughout life. Any stories of when you use your psychic powers? I mean, I've talked about it before, how I've had dreams. Um, I've had, I guess the technical term is uh, premonitions. And you would think that having something like that, or I guess, I don't know, being quote unquote gifted with something like that is cool or something, but it's not really all that cool. It's nice when, you know, it's about a good thing, but most of the time it's not something good. And I have to, uh, I have to give people a warning. <laughs> yeah, it's exhausting. True. Is this final destination? Um... I mean, I kind of relate, but also not not to that level. Like, that's, like, very exaggerated. Sometimes when I'm in a vehicle, like, if I'm in someone's car or if I'm on the bus and I just look out the window and we're just, like, <clears throat> you know, I'm just going somewhere. Not even anything special. Like, the vehicle turns a corner or something. Um, I'll see, like, it. Would, sometimes it's an animal or sometimes it's a person. Um, and it'll look like... It'll look like the car or the bus is like run them over, but obviously if that a actually happened to a physical being, you know, the situation would be very different, but, um, yeah, I, I, stuff like that, like happens to me sometimes. It's not scary. I guess it's just kind of like, it's just surprising. <laughs> yeah. Ghost. Ooh. <laughs> I remember distinctly one time when I was younger and I was a child um, and I was dry. Uh, my family was driving somewhere. Uh, I saw a dog in the distance, like in a short distance, trying to like cross the street. And I remember like looking at the dog, it was just minding his business and the car just like kept going and it kept going and it like went through the dog. I don't even know. But I freaked out. I was like, I was, I was like, we just ran over that dog, whatever. And I like looked behind me, but there's nothing there. And my, obviously my parents were like, what the fuck is wrong with our child? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want to do a tarot, a tarot reading stream. Only if that would be interesting to you guys, because I know not everyone, <clears throat> not everyone is into that. I don't want to uh, make people uncomfortable. Yeah. But if that is something that would be interesting to you guys that you'd want to see, <laughs> tell me if I'm going to get a lover. You know, love life is the number one thing everyone always asks about. I mean, it makes sense. Um, <laughs> the tower from the zine. Um, that would be so nice, but also... I just don't know where I would, you know, print those out. Also, I don't just want to print out all of these artists' work without their permission. <clears throat> That's fucked up. I could get an artist to create a deck specifically for me. That would be really, that would be a really cool um, commission. I don't know anyone that does that, though. I should find out. <gasps> Niji Sanji themed tarot deck? That would be so fun too. I would love that. Favorite tarot cards? Um, I think my favorite cards have to be the star and also the high priestess. I think those are my top two uh cards. Not the tower? I don't I don't know. I don't know if I like the tower. The tower is a scary card. It's like every time I get wheel of fortune i'm just like side eyeing like uh in what context in what context any opinion on the eight of swords believe it or not eight of swords is something that i get pretty often for friends who are making bad decisions <laughs> like if you know tarot you know what that car looks like you know 
in my deck you know it looks a certain way but in most decks it's like the woman and there's swords and and she's like blindfolded and stuff if that card comes out in your reading then you need to talk to whoever the reading is for you need to tell them they have to make some changes let them be messy what i mean if they're not a friend of yours you know you don't have to give them the the guidance if you don't want to <laughs> it'll just pop out and you'll be like oh interesting interesting card oh i actually do like the death card when the death card comes out i think it's pretty nice too because nobody likes change but usually it's a change that needs to happen in your life so i appreciate when that card comes out i have base tasting tarot cards thank you thank you thank you how often do you read yourself uh not that often because sometimes my deck is very straightforward with me and that kind of scares me so <laughs> uh anyway we don't have to talk too much about this because i know not everyone is into it i will sometime maybe sometime in the future i will do one 